A core part of any application is the content that is displayed and a key part of that content is the text. So in this lesson, we will look at all that we need to know in order to display text within React Native. So let's go. We start off with an empty React Native application with a simple view component as the root with some padding added to make sure that our text fits nicely within the layout. Now in order to display text within React Native, no surprise, there is a text component that we can bring in from React Native and then use that as a child of our view component to display some simple text onto the screen, for example, hello fam. And of course, this is the default styling for the text and as you can see, it is quite small, but there are a number of style properties for the text component just like they are for the view component and we will do that styling using the style sheet. So we create a new property called message and we start off with an empty object, but these are the styles that we will be using to style this text component. Now, of course, just to make the rest of this tutorial bearable, the first thing that we will do is to bump up the font size and no surprise, we do that with the font size property, which takes a numeric value. Now, a really neat feature of React Native is that a number of numeric values are actually unitless and represent density independent pixels. What this means is that the values will look similar on different devices, even when they have very different pixel densities. So it's one less thing for us to worry about. Another property that we can style is the color property and we can give it a well-defined name, for example, red and even use the hex value as an example to give it a nice version of a blue color. Now, another dimension that we commonly want to modify with fonts is the font weight and no surprise, it has a property called font weight and we can give it a well-defined value, for example, bold. And if we want even more controlled, we can give it a numeric value as well. For example, we give it the value 900 and now it's even bolder than bold. A property closely related to font weight is the font style and this can be used to provide the value italic which italicizes our text and the other value that is valid for font style is normal which is the default. A common trick used by web developers is to customize the casing of text by using CSS properties without having to mess with the text content and that's actually possible with React Native as well. This is done by using the property text transform and we can use it as an example to change the text to lowercase or alternatively to something like uppercase and another value that we could use is capitalize where every first character would be capital just like it is in this particular input where h of hello and f of fam is capital. Now one more thing to know about text within React Native is that multiple descendants of a single text node are actually still entirely just one text node and this has a number of advantages so let's take a look. To set us up, we have a style for an outer container where we set the font size to be 24 and then for an inner text component, we make it bold as well as the color red. With these styles in place, we create an outer text component wired to styles.outer and then with the fam portion of hello fam, we wrap that in another text component wired to styles.inner. Notice that the font size that is provided by styles.outer is changing the font of both hello as well as fam and the inner styles are adding to that with bold and red for the fam portion of the text. Now, one great feature of the text component within React Native is that it will automatically wrap the text that it contains. Here we have a bunch of lorem ipsum text and you can see that it nicely flows within the UI. And as you mentioned, directly nested text components are still a part of the parent text component. So if we have two text children, they are essentially a single text child as far as React Native is concerned. So you can see that the text DUIS turns into a single word when it is rendered because it is still a single text component. And this has a number of use cases. As an example, you can use it to style the individual characters within a larger word to be a different style by just using a text component for those characters. Now, if you do want the different text components to be different blocks, no surprise, contain them within something else. For example, you can use a view component and now the two text blocks are two different components. And as you mentioned, the direct inheritance of text styles only happens when the text is a direct descendant of another text. And in my opinion, this is great because we don't end up with an unexpected cascade that is common within web programming. However, now if you do want the style of the outer font size, we can do that quite easily by adding the style prop to the individual text components. And now you can see that they have the large font size as well. Now, hopefully you won't be doing this too often because after all, this is React, which means that you can start creating your own custom components. We create a few styles first for the headings, which are going to be font size 24, font weight bold, and for the paragraph, which is just going to be a slightly gray version of black. 
with these tiles in place, we create a component for heading, which is going to take the children and wrap them in a text block containing the style styles.heading. And similarly, there's going to be a P tag for the paragraphs, which is going to wrap the children into a text styled by styles.paragraph. Now with these components in place, we can use them within our app as many times as we want and we can be guaranteed that they have the consistent experience. For example, here is a heading with some paragraphs containing the lyrics of a very popular song. Join me in the next lesson with another tip on React Native. Thanks for watching. Smash that like and subscribe for more content like this and I will see you in the next one.